everybody, this is Connie Whitlock with Honey and Wine, and I co-write with Rick with Honey and Wine Music, and I'm also a piano teacher. So I've been seeing all these ads uh, online lately with people claiming to find easy ways to learn the piano, uh, and ways you can do it faster. Well, that is just not possible. Um, there are probably some ways of teaching that could convey the information quickly or uh, some motivations to actually practice correctly. I believe that those are some things that we could do, but the brain works this way. Um, I read a book once called The Well-Trained Mind, and there uh, are three stages of learning. So you have parrot copy, logic, to creative. So when you learn a new language, so maybe you learn Spanish or French in school. I remember learning French. And in my French class, it was always repete, s'il vous plaît. So repeat, please. Well, this is what we do with our students in music. So you are repeating every day, every day, every day. So maybe you're playing a song every day, every day, every day. So it's not just about getting past that song, it's about every day you're playing the song and then something is being changed in your brain or programmed in your brain. Maybe it's a muscle memory. Maybe it's something like reading the notes and knowing where they are. Maybe it's fingering. Maybe it's your ear being trained to know where the frequencies are on the piano. Lots of things, but that takes time. And yet it's a little bit different for everybody because everybody's made differently, but really it's the science is the same for the human race. So parrot copy means that you are repeating and repeating. So learn uh, in your mind, learn what the scales are. You know, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C is a C major scale. Memorize that. It's actually good for you. So the next step is logic. So you go from, I'm sorry, that's my dog, so he's gonna get a little noisy, but the next step is logic, and that means everything kind of makes sense, kind of, you know, starts, you know, like if you learn what window means in French, you're like, oh yeah, it's a window, I can look out of it, or maybe on the, you know, oh, wall. That's, that's what holds the house up or uh, bread. Oh, okay, you can eat that, I get that. Now I'm you know, repeating it, repeating it. And then you start remembering it as you use it. So there are some great ways to kind of stair step up. Just give me one minute, give that to me. Anyway, <laughs> you can go get it. So anyway, um, so basically step by step, I should have kept it. Anyway, step by step, brick by brick. So what you want to do is you want to kind of go out there and get something uh, to practice on your instrument that's just a little bit above what you can do. Not out of your reach, but just out, of, just into your reach. Just like a ladder. When you're stepping up a ladder, you can actually reach the next rung. You know, if you start skipping rungs, what happens? You fall. So basically, you just have to go up one, up one, up one. And I always say, it, it's an investment. So it's like money in the bank. So every day when you're practicing something, you're investing. I'm putting something in my brain. Actually, you are. You're putting stuff into your brain. So I do highly recommend having a teacher. Um, not so keen on virtual teaching, but I guess it can work. It's not as effective. Uh, the person to person is the best way to learn. Um, for me, I can see the student, I can see their posture, I can see, uh, I can even see their attitude. I can see so much about them that I can't see online. Uh, like I said, it can be done, but not, not, as, not as good. Uh, and then the next stage is creative. That's the fun part. And so once you repeat, 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 right? You're echoing back and then it becomes clear what it's, what's happening and then you're kind of practicing that and it's going in the brain. Then you get to take all the colors on the palette and you get to use it. That's how you learn music. This is how you learn the piano. And I'm gonna tell you, 
It doesn't matter if you are on your way to be the greatest pianist in the world, or if you just wanna place a few songs for yourself. It's the same idea. So say you wanna play the blues. You know, like I just, I've, I've been taught from years and years and years and years, but I still love going online. It's like, what else can I learn? Okay, so what are some new blue, blues patterns or jazz patterns I can, I can start practicing? There's some great resources out there. Um, I should probably put some together, right? Some of my favorites. Sometime I'll do that. But this is how you do it. You have to be patient. You have to do it every day. The metronome is your friend. It is, it's a real friend, so please invest every day. You know, and a lot of people think it's like, oh, I have to spend two hours or an hour a day practicing. You know what? No, do some scales 10 minutes a day on the metronome and then consider it, consider it done. Just do that. I mean, if you're just wanting just to learn to play, there you go. I mean, it's an investment. Let's see what else. You got your memory. You can, you can pick up some basic books. If you've been given piano lessons already and you already know how to read, go ahead and, and pick up some really basic books and just start going book one and then book two, you know, and it, it works. It's, it's, it just works. Anyway, well, there you go. Until the next video, this is Connie Whitlock signing off. Talk to you later. Bye.